Hello, this is a comparison between two Steinway Model O grand pianos. So that's five foot ten and a half inches long. Uh, this one is made in 1912 and has just recently come into stock. And this one is made in 1906, also very recently come into stock. Now we'll start off with this one. This is a fully restored Steinway Grand. The third pedal in the middle there has been added when it was restored. It is possible to add the Sostenuto pedal to pianos of this age, and it originally comes without them, but the mechanism inside allows you to do that. Now, you can see the key tops here, they've been replaced. So these were original ivories, and they're a perfect replacement, obviously, and, and look just right with the new black finish. This is a black polyester, just like a modern piano, really. And the Simei logo has also been made like a modern logo. Now, the 1912 Steinway is all original. And uh, if we focus in here, we can see it's got an original ivory keys as well, in perfect condition. Um, now, the logo here is not brass. It's actually boxwood inlay, which is quite commonly done on Steinways and obviously on the higher quality ones. The case on this one is a lovely figured rosewood and uh, the polish is almost perfect though it has got some fading on. Now the fading slightly on this right hand side but mainly on the top lid which has been folded over. This is such a common thing with wood colour pianos, we've mentioned it in other videos, as they're kept open as they're being played and obviously underneath there it's not exposed so if you do have a wood color piano it's a really good idea to keep it closed uh, not just sunlight does it it's, it's general exposure to light uh, or rather indirect sunlight as well as direct sunlight now it's a lovely figured rosewood so of course we can fully repolish this piano um, it's devalued the piano having been slightly faded so if you did want that done that's something that we offer we do do full French polishing it takes about 70 hours so obviously does add a lot to the price but we believe that uh, we're, we're trying to achieve the highest standard the music stand also has a beautiful figured rosewood and um, it's, fa it's faded um, out the whole piano is faded apart from the bit that wasn't exposed so it would be darker normally if we repolished the piano see that some book holders have been installed here that's very useful especially if you have very thick books uh, to help the music keep open now on the fully restored one that's been done in black then uh, we could add music holders here too it is possible to do without damaging the polyester now looking at the inside the first thing we want to do as we said many other times in videos is to check the tuning pin tightness and these in the this uh, rosewood one are extremely tight uh, but the rest plank underneath here hasn't been replaced it's not necessary to replace Steinway rest planks though when we fully redo them we usually do so on the black one here this has had a new rest plank so there's slightly smaller tuning pins now the restoration on the rosewood one has been done by Steinways and in 1984 and then again a Steinway technician in 18, uh, 1995 uh, did some further work. He, he restrung the piano. Steinways had previously done work on the action. Um, so both the action and the strings have been replaced. And uh, as we'll hear in a minute, this is uh, quite a special piano. Now the insides of the black piano, you can see uh, it's been finished off in a slightly different way. It's a, it's a matte, beautiful matte finish here and matches the piano superbly. That's uh, copying the original Steinway finish and the uh, soundboard's been restored and shimmed, as you can see there. The 1912 Rosewood one hasn't, doesn't look as though it's needed any shimming at all. Um, there's the original logo on the soundboard there as well, which is rather beautiful. Let's try and compare the tone of the two. They're both uh, German sideways, by the way. This is the Rosewood one. So that's as warm as you can get on a Model O Steinway. Here's the black 1905 one. Still very warm. I'd call it a slightly more modern sound. Not sure what that means, but more like a modern piano, but in more in between, shall we say, in between an old style sound and a modern sound.
Back to the Rosewood one. Both have superb tenor sound. And the black one. Going up through the treble on the black one. There's a little bit of voicing still to do on this, just a little bit of work on both of them. Of course we'll do that before we sell the piano, or after we sold it before we deliver it. And the rosewood one. That's already been voiced in the top treble and sings beautifully. Now looking at the action on both pianos, uh, this is the black one that we saw in a sim many similar videos to this, so you can see the bottom and the top action have been done on this one. That would be Renner bottom action, Arbel top here, we've got Arbel hammers as well, and um, Steinway themselves use Arbel and Renner, perhaps more Stein, more Renner than Arbel, but they certainly used Arbel, and so did Bösendorfer, and the Bösendorfer voicer and uh, tuner I uh, went to the factory recently and uh, he was explaining that even two sets of Arbel hammers are very, very different that they put on the pianos and he has to think about each set of hammers differently. And I found the same, it's really difficult to know sometimes what to do. Uh, th in this case, these are wonderful hammers, um, but at the top end they need quite a lot of voicing. Um, when they're put on in the press, they're put on really hard and sometimes they're not, I think these need to be a bit more pointed. So we should be working on those, they're not quite strong enough in the top end. Um, in the USA they do a lot of doping the hammers. In the UK too sometimes it's necessary for what we find with sets of hammers. Um, I don't really know too much about the USA, perhaps you'd like to comment on that. Um, but as you can see the action has been replaced, the top and bottom action in this case. Now this is the Rosewood Steinway and it's done very differently. The, this original bottom and top actions here um, the hammers have been changed and the rollers have been changed and the center pins have been replaced as necessary. The end result is just as good actually if it's done properly and this has been done by Steinways and then a uh, retired Steinway technician. You can see here actually this the action was done by Steinways um, I think the retired Steinway technician did do some refacing and voicing. Um, you'll see the original receipts are attached to the uh, description of this piano on our website there we see French chalk as well put on there and uh, obviously graphite here. So that's, that's just the same as a new piano and really the results are like a new piano. It's extremely well done. Uh, so it, it's out, sounding excellent. Not very worn these hammers. We look at them. They have as I say been refaced but you'd hardly tell because it's almost 100%. Anyway I think they'd be more voiced than refaced or refaced and then voiced because uh, as we'll see here in a minute it is a delightful tone. So that's a comparison between two pianos just into stock. This one's the most recently into stock, about two weeks ago. And uh, it's been restored by Steinway and then a Steinway technician later on. You'll see on our uh, description on the website of this piano the, the invoices and the description of what's been done. And the resulting tone and touch are just delightful. Staff love this piano, and so do I. And we've only just got it in. There's some very, very slight refinement to do on it. Very, very little bit on the, the touch and the tone. Very, very slight, but it really is superb. Now you can't feel it yourself, obviously. Um, so I just want to try and demonstrate the down weight, which is just under 50 grams. That's just under 50 grams, and if I knock the bottom of the key bed you can see them coins going down and obviously this is amateurish we've got proper weights for when we do it ourselves um, and there we are that one's going down nicely so just under 50 grams down weight and there's slightly less down weight at the top and slightly more here by about one or two grams but if we take off let's have a look at 30 this is about 30 grams and that's about right for letting for getting it up the up weight which is the weight 
you basically the weight needs to be as low as possible or 25 to 30 grams is ideal if it's too low then you can get sticky action very easily but all good pianos should have that sort of down and up weight um, I don't know if that makes sense to you hopefully but uh, the touch it just feels a delight silky to play now the longevity of this piano compared to the other one that we'll, we've looked at I wouldn't say is any different really they're made so well in the first place they can be reconditioned and reconditioned and reconditioned as time is often are voicing and tone throughout it's just excellent there's a 10-year guarantee on this piano of course and uh, we also, if it's within the UK, we'll give a free tuning and check as, as part of the service. Now let's have a listen to the other piano to compare it with. So this is the 1905 Steinway. There's still some refinement to do on this piano. When you're restoring a piano, there's endless work to do just to refine it and finish it off. It's got arbol hammers on. They tend to need more voicing at the top end. Um, whereas Renner hammers need a lot of voicing throughout. So we'll have to do that. There's one or two slightly sticky notes as well, as you can see there. Obviously that's all sorted, and again, a 10-year guarantee. We've sold many pianos that have been restored like this, and other videos of them. What's the difference in tone and touch? Now the touch, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring my weights here to this one, but I can assure you that it's almost identical to the other one. A nice, a, just under 50 grams down weight and an up weight of about 30 grams again, which is just right. It makes it feel, it's not pushing against you. Some keyboards, some electronic keyboards, you feel when you push them down, they're pushing you back up again because the up weight is very, very high and needs to be low. In terms of making a choice, I think cosmetics obviously are a major factor because the other one, the rosewood, and it's very, very beautiful wood, slightly faded as well, quite faded on the top, but this is obviously perfect. We've been re refinished, it's absolutely perfect in every way. This is more expensive. Uh, if the other one was repolished, it would uh, be quite not far off the price of this one. That's helped you to think through. There's obviously there's a, every piano is different, and every piano is restored differently. So we've got another Steinway Model A. It's an older Model A in stock, which I have a video of as well, and another black Steinway as well. So if you are not able to get in, then um, we prefer you to come because the touch and tone is varying on, from piano to piano, but we can try and describe it as well as possible and um, can assure you that if you do buy without, without coming to see the piano, then uh, we have several people do that. We will obviously take the most utmost care to explain the piano to you and, um, and when it arrives, give you the option to change it within a year. So don't worry about that.
Thank you very much for listening.